Yeah, it's uh, called Vielka Post. Okay, that's fine. Looks like a nice forward thinking horse. Now try to put her a little bit round, a little bit more on the bit. And try to bring her right shoulder a little more over so you don't have her haunches to the inside and the forehand out. You still want to flex her to the left. That's better on the bit. When you just walk around, you want to make sure the horse is walking correctly on the bit. Now position her a little more to the left. You're on a bent line. That means your horse always ha also has to be bent. Open your left hand a little more to the inside. And then Ella, you want to make sure it's not you holding her up so much. Allow her to come a little better over her top line. That's right. Still on the bit, but a little round, a little low on her neck. I hope you give him a good team then. So now position her a little bit more on the bed, her outside shoulder more in this way, and put her on the bed. So she stays more consistent. If you could see her left eye because of all the stuff you have on her there, you want to position her a little bit so you can see a little. That's right. Yeah, give her a chance and, 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 and give her possibility to stay this round on the bed. That's the first thing. So we get her on the bed like a third fourth level horse. Now she's a little hurried on the walk. You want to make her wait for you. And we're still working on a circle so you don't want a straight horse. Put her a little deeper in your hand again. Deeper. That's right. Just position her a little left. Keep your left leg on the girl's outside leg back. That's a better frame. Now we want this consistent, Ella, because we want it the same way when we start trotting in a moment. On the bit. That way. Just do a little turn left and let me just see if we'll walk to the right before we do anything. Just turn this way. And Pinky stays on the bit. Put on the bit again. Keep turning, so you're on about a 15 meter circle around me, so you don't touch the rail. Keep walking. I'll give her a little check again so she stays round. That's why I want you to keep the whip over your thigh just like that. This is better on the bit. Now to this side, she is what we call falling a little bit over the outside shoulder. So hold her a little more over your left leg. As he stays round on the inside leg, bend around your right leg, but without drifting to the left. This is nice. Now feel you keep her on a bit like this. Do you need all this stuff on her face? Unfortunately, um, she's a little bit allergic. Okay, so just keep uh, it away. I can take it off. No, it's fine. It's hard for me to see her expression uh, and everything no, no, like that, but you're fine. I can take it off. Is it easy to take off? Don't get off the horse or anything. I think leave it on. Yeah. Leave it on, especially if you don't want so what I'm getting at so far is just to get the horse a little more consistent on the bit, even in the walk. So you can go right into the trot and keep it the same way. Now keep her a little deeper. Try to put her even a little behind the vertical line. That's it. I'm still into the bit. Yes. You feel there's a connection between your hand and her mouth. Now let's try the same in the trot. Rising trot. Just keep her on the bit like that. And we'll get to all that difficult stuff in a moment. I just want to see that your basic is right. So I like her better on the trot than on the walk. Don't forget that the walk is also just another gate and they score you just like that also in your third and fourth level tests. That's pretty nice, huh? Very good. Nice steady hands. Now feel you are in control of your tempo. You have a nice forward thinking horse. For that reason, it's important that you tell her, this is how you have to wait for me. So you get the correct tempo and engagement. That being said, I would like a little more cadence to her trot. Feel she's just as active, but not running. Put your leg on her a little more without going faster. Now make her trot. Make her trot, just not so hurry. Keep turning so you don't touch the rail. You need to learn to control. That's nice if you give in like this. I'll use about half of the arena with straight lines. Let me just keep this confirmed. I like your hands. You have a good upper body. This is fine. We're going to stay in rising trot for just a moment. Now it's up to you to keep her on the bit and you keep controlling that tempo. Straight ahead. 
and you have such good hands, it's perfectly legal that you move your hands a little sometimes when you do your half halt and you keep on a bit. You go straight down the long side again. And again, now she's running away under your seat. You want to tell her to wait for you. She has plenty of go. You put her a little deeper and a little rounder. That's better. You feel you're in charge of the tempo and she's on your eight. That was a better trot. Now keep it. Stay a little longer. than that right now. We'll change direction on half a diagonal or anyway is fine. That's okay. Just change direction. Oops. Turn right again. We want to do that again. Just turn right. Turn right. Yeah. I want you to go back to that same line that you spoke to that horse. She grows on me. She's pretty fancy when she wakes up. Yeah. Turn left. Turn left. I want you to come back and then go on that, and then you just change direction somehow, so you come back to that same letter K. Okay, okay gotta keep her on the bed. Yeah. Keep trotting. Keep, yeah, you can fix it on the trot. Good. Now change direction. Let's go on this half diagonal. Flex a little right. Turn right. But if you need to stay on a circle for another moment, that's fine. But you keep on a bit like this. A little low on front again, so you tell her to listen to you. Oh, that's right. One more big circle. This is how you want this horse to move, Ella. Then you have a nice horse. You didn't show her off in the beginning. There, now collect her a little more. Let her wait for you. Now you do this, finish this circle, then go on the short side, and then you go on that hard and half diagonal like we set out to do. Super. Look at your horse right there. There's your fourth level horse. Yeah, yeah. I'll change direction, half a diagonal. This truck will make a wait for you. Look at the letter B. On the bed. Yes. That's where she has to stay so she's on your eight. And then just come around me on a circle again. A little bigger trot. You have to find that tempo without her taking over. So you are you are the one in charge. That's nice. Bring her right shoulder this way again. She doesn't fall a little to the outside. That's nice. Keep turning. To this side, you've got to flex her a little more. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Keep turning. Position her a little left again. She's too straight working on a bent line. That's it. Now keep turning. Allow her to bring her forehand this way. Think a little shoulder four. This is nice. And then you can start softening your hand. Very good. This is your horse's trot right there. Now she's competitive. Now bring her right shoulder a little this way again. Good. Go back to war. For start with this here, Ingenu. Yeah. The heel, the brass arm, and you have to make control. Yeah. It's super mega head, but you won't like it. You're doing it in there all over the place. You turn the hood, lit up, you turn the hood, lit in. You go to the door, the ears, you go to the ground somewhere. This is going to back on some higher arm. I can bend up with that. And I see they've got the students in power tank, they can't give me a hole. Yeah. I'll see what I'm saying. Good luck, Mr. Wood. Working on the bend line, keep running this way out, because it's drifting over the outside shoulder. I'm going to position her a little here, and then you want to try to bring this shoulder more into the bend line. Do that by keeping this rein on her neck a little bit, and this leg a little bit. So, with other words, I want her to move that outside shoulder a little in, otherwise, she has her left hind here and her right, hand, right front here, that means he's on two tracks. Right. Good judges will pick that up in a fourth level test. Right, right. Put her on a bit and then just take a look at the candle. 
Take your time, right? And you want to prepare it. You want to have it. Now we want to do the candle from the wok. And you want to prepare the wok so these on the aid. These in the wok you want. And then just a light aid with this nice sense of divorce. Position her a little left. And then you just pick up the candle when you're ready. As you will see on your video here, she's a little tight behind. She drops her back, she comes too high. So we want to work on that a little bit. Now go back to walk. But now try to have her a little deeper over her back, a little rounder. With other words, give her freedom so she can separate her hind legs a little more. Left hand to the inside and don't restrain her too much. Now a light aid, flex her left. And then you just can it with a very light aid. That was much better already. You've got to give her freedom and you've got to keep her round. Now remember, you're on a straight line. I want on purpose to stay a little more on this bent line. You have a nice chance of this. Come a little closer to me. Stay around me in like a 12-15 meter circle. I'll make her drop her neck a little lower. Lower. That's it. Allow her to come this deep. I've got to make sure you don't push your weight too much on your outside seat. Sit a little more left and bring her right shoulder this way over. That's nice. Now keep her a little more on the outside way. I told her I'm sturdy always, so you can stay around here. I'm going to stay right behind you. Yeah. That's right. Now bring her forehand this way. Godt være også ved at være rundt til os. Yeah, yeah.
Hare. Yes, you want to fix that on the drive. I'm helping you with something you should have fixed five years ago. I'll put her neck a little lower again, whatever it takes. Allow her to come a little deeper. That's right. I will lock you in. This is the drop you want to keep. Now think about what this feels like. That's what you want to do with your whole fourth level chest on the bit. And I don't want her hollow to the right. I just want her shoulder a little more so it keeps riding. Keep riding. Yes, this corner she looks a little bit. On the bit. Keep going back. That tempo is fine. Put her a little deeper at the places where she's looking. That's nice. Now bring her left shoulder into the middle of the track. That's it. You got it. No more. Understand? Yes. That's it. Straight ahead. No 
Now keep trotting. We're going to bed. At the end of the long side, you do a small half circle to a half pass right. Not too steep. Start turning. Now a little shoulder four towards me. Stay on the line. And that's just too steep. She has it. Just make it a little longer line and keep her more on the bed. So walk her on the bit for a few minutes. Now shoulder in. Same as you just did. But you've got to keep trotting a little more. Here you have a nice bend. Let her trot. And on the bit. Do a 10 meter circle. Start turning. Low on her neck again this way. And shoulder in when you come up. Now keep trotting. Keep trotting. Sit to the left. And here we just need to have a little less neck bend, Ella. And then more trot again. That's what you have some homework to do. Then in this direction, you're sitting way over on your right seat. You do the same on a circle. Sit to the left. Now a little shoulder in again. Sit left, just keep the right way. Right way, then you have it. Too much angle, a little more right way. That's fine. Now go straight ahead and do it. That's okay. Keep trotting. Why do you trot for a moment? Keep on the bit. Good. That's what you, how you want to show her off later on when she's ready and you're sitting trot. Just go straight ahead. Ma'am? Ma now think about not to sit too much to the road, but straighten her a little more on the right rein. That's nice. Now can you sit the trot like that? Watch again that she doesn't fall over to the right because you're sitting to the right. That's it. Keep her on the bed, a little check on your right rein. Now walk and keep her on the bed. Pat her once. That was good. Tell her she's good. Back straight ahead. Now move her right shoulder a little left again, so you work on straightness. Forehand a little left. See here, Mother from Saint Godly, come here and go to England. Yeah. You gotta put that on your video. Walk on the quarter line again. Walk a little more forward. <coughs> Keep walking, and you turn on a quarter line for the tenant. Now put her on the bed. If she has her way, she always likes to have her right shoulder that way out. Now put her forehand this way. Forehand this way. Now she's straight. That's, keep her straight. See how she likes to fall over to the right. If you don't fix that, that will haunt you up the level. You just need to put your right leg a little more forward. Move her right shoulder a little more over to the left. Move it. Keep walking. Forehand over a little more. That's right. This is very important basic work, Ella. Just try it one more time. Keep walking. And just move her right shoulder a little over without bending her to the left. That's it, right there. Sometimes it's just a very tiny correction. This is good. There you're sitting well and you are even. 
Ja. Ich glaube, was ein Doba Doba Lied ist. Ja. Wir können die Gewöhnung weg, die zehn Dinge, die wir für die Woche zu verteilen. Wir haben die Jugendraten, die wir lernen, 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 die wir lernen. At B, you turn to about one meter before K, but over the quarter line, you have to change. She's all over the place and she's looking so much to change the time that I'm Just do a circle first and canter. That was good. Let her canter. Just stay in a circle until your canter gets right. That's pretty nice. In this direction you're sitting fine. It's in the other direction you fall to the outside. Now go straight ahead. <coughs> Keep on the bit. And start turning. Turn. Good. That's pretty nice. You can place the half hold of the chain. Okay. Next time you should try the flying chain, right? I'll give you a try it. Drop down to the other side. A nice speed. On the bed. That's right. That's nice. Now push her a little more. Nice trot here, keep on the bit. Now walk and then you have to ask for that change. Uh, when you feel her ready, then do three things at one time. Put your right leg on her, close your right hand, give a little bit on the left. Straight ahead. Now turn. Shorter, shorter. Accept. Right rein, right spur, half hold, and. There was one leg behind, but I think she got the chain. Now walk her back and let's talk about that. This is important to get that face. Oh, my God. 
Look at the letter F. No to F. No change. Walk, walk, walk. Up or down the right. Super. Now we just made one little more mistake. You had a nice transition. The point is then that she stays on the same straight line. Ah. I think that's all you I think you have a little homework to do. Yeah, a little. Nej! 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 Nej!